Well, hi again, everyone. This is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan, and thank you for waiting this out with me for the 2007 Stratomatic Mostly Advanced World Series. The Cleveland Indians, uh, the underdog 80 and 82 team that won the American League, Centra American League Central as the worst teams, but got hot in the playoff run and uh, made it to the World Series. We'll face the Los Angeles Dodgers. We are starting the first two games in LA, so no designated hitter due to the fact that the Dodgers had the better regular season record. Excuse me. Today's pitching matchup is Jake Westbrook for the Indians and Brad Penny for the Dodgers. And the starting lineup for the Cleveland Indians, leading off and playing center field, Grady Sizemore. Batting second and playing second base is as Drupal Cabrera. Batting third and playing first base, Travis Hafner. Cleaning up and playing catcher is Victor Martinez. Batting fifth and playing shortstop is Johnny Peralta. Batting sixth and playing left field, uh, Kenny Lofton. Batting eighth and playing right, batting seventh and playing right field, excuse me, is Franklin Gutierrez. Batting eighth and playing third base is Casey Blake. And batting ninth and pitching is Jake Westbrook. And the defense behind Brad Penny is <clears throat> Andre Ethier in left field, Juan Pierre in right field, or in center field, sorry, and um, Matt Kemp in right field. And from first to third, it's James Loney at first, Jeff Ken at second, Rafael Fercal at short, and Nomar Garcia Parra at third with Russell Martin catching. All right. And here we go. Three sides more leads off. Two, eight, struck him out. And as Drupal Cabrera, the second baseman. And that's outside ball four. So first base runner for the Indians. And they will not hold on Cabrera. Right, here's Travis Hafner. Six, six against the lefty. One to five single, and it sneaks it by the first baseman, Loney. And the second goes Cabrera. So first and second with one out. Brings up Victor Martinez. And a 4-6 against a lefty. And a switch hitter betting left-handed. Struck him out. So second strikeout of the inning and second out of the inning. It's up to Johnny Peralta to get the Indians on the board. One, four, weak ground ball to second. And Kent retires Peralta, and that will retire the side. Indians strand two on a walk and a hit. And after a half inning, it's the Indians nothing and the Dodgers coming to bat. And Jake Westbrook will take the mound. And the batting order for the Dodgers is for Call, Pierre, and Loney, Kent, Garcia, Parra, and Martin. Kemp, Ethier, and Penny. All right, and here is Raphael for call. Key for the Indians is keeping the top two off the base paths, A and double-A Steelers, respectively. Not what you wanted. Ball four. And for call, they will definitely hold him on. For call as an A Steeler starts at a 15 Goes down to a 13 because they're holding him on. And then Martinez does not remove. Eh. First inning, they'll take a shot. 1 to 13 for Kyle. Takes off. And oh boy, that's a 2. So he steals it. If this roll is a one, because that's what Martinez's throwing error is, for call, we'll take third. And that's a nine, so he stays put. So for call, getting into scoring position for one Pierre. Let's 
3-5, and that gets into center field. But on a line aid, wait to see if it was caught. And so only going getting to third is for call. And here's James Loney. First and third, nobody out. And the Indians will play back to try to get two outs for a run. And 6-2 against the uh, lefty fly ball to deep right field. But with room is Gutierrez. He will make the catch. Scoring from third easily is for call. And the Dodgers take a 1-0 lead. And staying at first is Pierre. Now they will be looking to, for, to get him into scoring position. He is a double-A stealer being held on. He starts at a 17, down to a 15. And he takes off. And that's a 5, and he is in there with a... Stolen base. And here's Jeff Kent, who at one time did play for the Indians in 1996. And Kent pops one right up the chute. Peralta calls for it and makes the catch two down. Here's Nomar Garcia Parra. And a ground ball right to Casey Blake. Throws the first to retire Garcia Parra, and that will retire the side. But the Dodgers do get on the board and lead 1-0 after 1. Lofton, Gutierrez, and Blake do up here in the top of the second. And here's Kenny Lofton. 2-3 against a righty, and unfortunately this is not super advanced where this would count as a single. We only take the top result. That's popped up to the shortstop, and for call calls for it and makes the catch. That retires often. I uh, should mention for call, this is his first game back after a two-game injury, so I'm already making an immediate impact scoring the first run. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. And weak ground ball to second. And Kemp throws out Gutierrez, two up, two down. And now brings up Casey Blake, who I believe was a, he, he became a Dodger later in his career. And 4-6, ground ball to short. And Burkall throws out Blake, one, two, three inning for the Indians here in the second. And going to the bottom of the second, the Dodgers lead one to nothing. Martin, Kemp, and Ethier do up here in the bottom of the second. And here's the pitch to Russell Martin. And a 4-8 ground ball, but right to Peralta. Throws out Martin, one down. Okay. And here's Matt Kemp. To four, fly ball to right field. Gutierrez moves in a couple of steps and makes the catch. Two down. And here's Andre Ethier. To seven and a fly ball to center and Sizemore gets under it and that retires the side one two three inning for the Dodgers in the second we go to the third Dodgers one Indians nothing and Penny will face his pitching counterpart Jake Westbrook using pitcher hitting card number one 
I'll turn this up for the first at bat, and then I will leave it sideways for the rest of them. And here's the pitch to Westbrook, right-handed hitter. Just struck him out. One away for Grady Sizemore. Grady struck out his first time up. Six, seven. Second base X. Oh boy, that's probably not good for Kent. Four and a four. This will probably get through for a hit. And it does. So Grady takes first on the single. It will definitely hold him on, but I maybe with two outs they send him. Starts at a 15, down to a 13 for being held on, and take away two more, he'd be a 1 to 11. So here's his Drubal Cabrera. Walked his first time up. 3 9, struck him out. Unfortunately, you can't take the bat out of Travis Hafner's hand with the runner on. So they will not take what size will take off. And that's a fly ball to center field. Here is a three and a six. And it drops in front of him. Sizemore gets a good read. He will head to third. Let me make sure that's correct for one Pierre. Yeah, three center fielder. So that will fall. Sizemore will go to third. And it's up to Victor Martinez to, for the Indians to tie the game. Victor struck out his first time up. Hafner two for two on the day with two singles. And this is a hot shot right to Loney. Takes it to the bag himself, and that retires the side. Mm -mm -mm. So the Indians strand two more like they did in the first inning on, a, on two hits. And to the bottom of the third... One nothing Dodgers. And Westbrook will face Penny for call and Pierre. And Penny will use pitcher hitting card number four. He is a weak right handed hitter. Two six ground ball right to the shortstop. And Peralta retires. Penny. One away. And here's Raphael for call. Walked and scored his first time up. 4-10. Switch hitter betting left-handed. Ground ball to second. Easy play for as Dribble Cabrera. Two down. Here's a one Pierre. Four, eight, and against the lefty, struck him out. First strikeout of the game for Westbrook. And the Dodgers go down one, two, three here in the third. And after three complete, it's the Dodgers one and the Indians nothing. And Penny will face Peralta, Lofton, and Gutierrez here in the fourth inning. Everybody, every relief pitcher will be fresh after days, day or days off from between series. Three seven against a righty is a fly ball to center, and Pierre puts it away. One down. Here's Kenny Lofton. Kenny popped out his first time up. Two, five, and Lofton rips this one past the second baseman, and he will reach. And Lofton being held on makes him a 1-11, to 11, but 
with the bottom of the order up, they feel like they have to get something, try to get something going. Actually, no, with it not being with him being a C hit and run, I, I still wouldn't do it. All right, one to eleven, Lofton steals second, and he is caught. So nice throw by Russell Martin. Uh, two four on the caught stealing, and Lofton is retired. And now watch Gutierrez will hit a double or something. 6-11. Nope. Ground ball to first. Loney will take it to the bag himself. And that retires the side. So the Indians kind of run themselves out of an inning, but... Yeah. We're to the bottom of the fourth. Indians trail one to nothing. And Westbrook will face Loney, Kent, and Garcia Parra. Here's James Loney. 6 8. And that's trouble against the lefty. And it's over the head of Sizemore, and he can't cut it off. And in the second, with a leadoff double, is James Loney. And here's Jeff Kent. They will not hold on Loney. Two, eight, ground ball to third. Blake looks back. Loney throws the first to get Kent one away. Big out there. Here's Noma. Grounded out the third his first time up. Six eleven base hit the left field. Oh boy! So you're not holding on. Loney makes him a twelve. Lofton with a plus two. One to fourteen. They will send him. The throw to the plate. And he's in there. So RBI single for Nomar Garcia Parra. And the Indians now trail 2 0. And now it's Russell Martin. <laughs> Sorry. Can you hear me pause? I am still a little mucusy, I guess we'll say. All right, Russell Martin. Four eight against the righty. Ground ball to the shortstop. Peralta to Cabrera. Over to Hafner. Inning ending double play. However, add another run on the board, and it's 2 0 Dodgers after four. And Blake Westbrook and. Uh, Sizemore kind of don't want to take Westbrook out. He's only give up two runs. Maybe if it was the fifth inning, I'd do it, but not in the fourth. Well, maybe if it was the sixth, I'd do it. All right, here's Casey Blake. Three, six, draws a walk. And I think everybody in the world knows what Westbrook's going to do. Well, probably not very well. They're going to be expecting a bunt. He's a, a D as in David Bunter. I'll make him an E Bunter. So only need two red ones. Westbrook squares around. Oh boy, E and an 11. He pops it up. First baseman Loney calls for it, makes the catch, but getting back to first is Blake. One away. And here is 
Lady Sizemore, singled as last time up, not holding Blake on. Two seven, struck him out. And Sizemore is struck out for the second time today. That is five strikeouts for Penny. And here's as Dribble Cabrera walked and struck out in two appearances. One six ground ball back to the mound, and the Indians are retired here in the fifth. Going to the bottom half, two nothing Dodgers. And bottom third of their order, Kemp, Ethier, and Penny do up. And the Indians are going to get bullpen action. Tom Masney and Aaron Fultz are loosening in the bullpen. Four and a seven against a righty. One to three, single chance, but that's a six. So Blake with a nice stop, throws out Kemp. One away. Here's Andre Ethier. And there's a fly ball to center field. And Sizemore puts it away, two down. Here's Brad Penny. To 12, and he pops one up. And this Cabrera calls for it and makes the catch. That will retire the side. So one, two, three inning for the Dodgers. And we go to the sixth. This is the point of weakness for both pitchers. Penny will face Hafner, Martinez, and Peralta. Here's Hafner. Five, six, and that's a seven, and that's into the gap, but cut off, and they hold Hafner to a single. He's the only one that's had a lot of success. He's three for three, saying, Coach, don't take me out for, the D uh, for Garko in game two, so... Maybe they'll keep him in the lineup. And here is Victor Martinez. I'm not holding half no on. Two seven. And it's a ground ball to second, but only play is the first. And Martinez is retired. Hafner moves to second. One away. Here's Johnny Peralta. Five ten against a righty fly ball to left field. Racing in is Ethier. He will make the catch. Two down. That brings up Kenny Lofton. Singled his last time up. But was caught stealing. Two twelve. Oh boy, that hit him, and we have a chance for injury here. And on the advanced injury chart, a one to four, he stays in the game. Anything else, he has to at least miss a game. And a fourteen. He is out of the game, and he is going to miss four games. I think at this point, you might as well just replace him with somebody. So Jason Michaels will come on. 
And I think Lofton may be replaced on the postseason roster due to injury. I think you can't go a man short for that long. So we'll see what we can do here. But Jason Michaels will come on. Uh. All right, here's Franklin Gutierrez. Runners on first and second. That does not count against Penny's point of weakness. One, six. Struck him out, and that will retire the side. Well, that might be the last better that Penny faces, though. As they will get bullpen action. Uh, Matt Hurgis and Scott Proctor are loosening in the bullpen. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Dodgers lead 2 0. And here's Westbrook, his final weakness. He's only faced 18 batters through five innings. So he's a little bit more fresh than uh, Penny is. This will probably be his last inning because he's due up second. He's due up second in the uh, top of the seventh. Six, seven, second base X. This is in range for Cabrera. He can make the play. Two and a seven. Yes, he does. So good play by Cabrera. Gets the speedy for call. One away. Here's Juan Pierre. One, eight, and a ground ball back to the mound. Two down. Here's James Loney. One nine struck him out. <laughs> Westbrook gave you six innings. You only gave up two runs. So you've, you've not much more you can ask. And Penny will be replaced. They will go with Hurgis. And Blake, and then a pinch hitter for Westbrook. Uh, don't want to burn uh, Garco just yet in case we want to have him. Uh, Trot Nixon has grabbed the bat, and he will come on deck. So Blake, Nixon, and Sizemore. And... Raphael Betancourt has started to loosen in the pen. Yes, and he will come on for the seventh. All right, so Hurgis has finished his warm-up tosses. Here is Casey Blake. Three, five. And there's a fly ball to center. One away, and here is Trot Nixon. Seventh. All right, so here's Trot Nixon. Three, seven, that's a fly ball to the right fielder. Kemp, he will make the play and retire. Ah. Nixon, two down. Here's Grady Sizemore, one for three, a single and two strikeouts. Four, 
or 11 against a lefty. Ground ball the first, and Loney steps on the bag himself. One, two, three inning for the Indians. Stretch time here at Chavez Ravine. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back for it. Root, root, root for your favorite team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. And Westbrook will be leaving. And Raphael Betancourt will come on in the seventh inning. And get him penciled in the scorebook. He will face Kent Garcia Parra and Martin. And Scott Proctor and Joe Bimel are loosening in the bullpen. Actually, no, it's going to be Proctor and Jonathan Broxton are loosening in the bullpen. So. Kent Garcia Parra and Martin. Here's Jeff Kent facing Raphael Betancourt. 6'10. Ground ball to the shortstop that is not in range for Peralta. He will need a 7 to 11 to retire Kent. And there's an 8, and that will retire Kent. Nice play by Peralta, one down. Here's Nomar Garcia Parra, his RBI single in the fourth. Added the insurance run the, Do the Dodgers needed. Five and an eight. The second base, tough play for Cabrera, but he dives, gets it, throws out Garcia Parra, two down. Nice play for Esdrubal Cabrera. Here's Russell Martin. Oh for two, two ground outs to shortstop. One turn became a double play. Three, seven, fly ball to center. And that will retire the side. And they may let Betancourt go out for a second inning. Judo in the eighth. And ah, coming in for the eighth inning is Jonathan Broxton. So her just goes one inning, one, two, three inning. We're hoping that uh, Broxton can bridge it to either uh, Takashi Saito or possibly another re reliever. So second reliever for the Dodgers here in the top of the eighth. And here's as Dribble Cabrera. Cabrera is 0 for, 0 for 2 with a walk. And that's to the center fielder, three and a seven. Oh, boy. And this time he dives and makes the catch. Nice play by Pierre. We retire Cabrera, one away. Here's Travis Hafner. All he's done is gone three for three with three singles. Five, six, not this time, struck him out. Two down. And here's Victor Martinez. Martinez 0 for 3 with a strikeout. One, seven, and the four. He laces that one into center field. But holding Martinez to a single. Ooh, down a run, I might think about pinch running, but not down two. This run kind of doesn't mean a whole lot. Not holding him on. Here's Johnny Peralta. Five, ten. Oh, boy. I wanted that one to be sort of in range. Garcia Parra is an E25. Needs an 8 or a 10 or a 10 to 12.
and he gets the 11. Wow. So Garcia Parra, hot shot, knocks it down, throws the first, and makes the play. Mm -mm -mm. You may think about getting a defensive replacement for him. <clears throat> I don't think there's any better, like Braves, Tony Braves got better, better range, but not better air rating. Wilson Valdez, better range, but not better air rating. So Andy LaRoche has better air rating, but not, the, but the same range. So take your pick. Okay. Bottom of the eighth. And boy, Kemp Ethier and a pinch hitter. And they let uh, Betancourt pitch to the first batter, a right hander. Then Rafael Perez will come on and face the rest of the, the lineup as needed. So here comes Matt Kemp. Kemp is 0 for 2, fly out and a ground out. Four nine struck him out, and now we will bring on Rafael Perez. And that will probably force the hand of Dodgers manager. He'll probably most likely bring up a right handed batter. Andy LaRoche will come on deck and hit for uh, the pitcher spot. Here's we get Perez into the lineup here as we as you'll see the second half of the Raphaels, Rafael Betancourt and Rafael Perez. And here is Perez to face Ethier. 210 popped him up. Shortstop. And that will retire. Him. And LaRoche will come on and face Broxton and Takashi Saito is loosening in the bullpen. All right, and here's LaRoche. Five, five, struck him out, and that will retire the side. We go to the ninth. Will there be any ninth inning magic for the Indians? Michaels, Gutierrez, and Blake. And then probably Ryan Garko to pinch hit if it gets that far. And here comes Saito, the closer. Saito on the regular season, 39 saves, a 2-1 record with a 1.40 ERA. It was certainly very good. And Michaels will get his first at-bat. Four, five against a righty. He draws a walk, so... Here's Franklin Gutierrez. One seven, and he draws a walk. Wow. And they are expecting a bunt from Blake to try to get the two runners into scoring position. And that's exactly what they'll do. So Blake is now a C bunter. Oh boy, C and a three. He gets it down and throw to first is not in time. So B 
base hit. And the Indians will have Ryan Garko come to bat. Pinch hitting for Perez. And they will get Tom Masney loosening the bullpen along with Joe Borowski in case this uh, game gets to be a safe situation. So Garko will pinch hit here. And they're going to play the infield back. They'll give up the two. If there's a double play, they'll give that up for a run. And plus anything with the plus sign, which... There is one that would be an automatic single two stars. They don't want that to happen. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And here's the pitch to Garko. Four, five. And that's ball four. Coming home is uh, Michaels. And everybody else moves up 90 feet. And now they will bring the infield in to cut off the tying run. Here's Grady Sizemore. Five, five, struck him out. Big strikeout. Infield will remain in. Uh, yeah, infield will remain in. Two, nine. And that's ripped into center field. Oh, I think it's over Pierre's head. Scoring from third is Gutierrez. Scoring from second is Blake. Scoring from first is Garko. And that's an RBI triple. A bases clearing triple for as Dribble Cabrera as the Indians have come alive here in the ninth inning. And now have taken a four to two lead. And that will be it for. Takashi Saito as they will bring in Joe Bimel. Could it be the curse that I didn't put his name on the scorebook? Never know. So Joe Bimel will now replace Saito. This first blown save of these play playoffs. And here's Travis Hafner. Yep, two nine, and that's a three. So by lefty lefty matchup. And they will play the infield in still. One ten. And that ball is hit deep to right field, or the left field, I should say. Back goes Ethier, and that ball is out of here. So, two more runs. And the, the Cleveland Browns, I mean, the Cleveland Indians have put up a touchdown here in the Top of the ninth. And Hafner has finished off a four for five day, finally getting two RBIs. And base is empty. Still nobody out for Victor Martinez. And Borowski will be sit down. Uh, Tom Masney will come out, although actually Jensen Lewis will be loosening in the bullpen. He will come out to try to close this game out. And here's Victor Martinez. 
three, seven against the lefty. Ground ball to the shortstop, and for call, I'm sorry, there was one out. Sizemore did strike out. And second out of the inning, and the ninth man to bat in the inning is Johnny Peralta. One five against a lefty base hit the center field. And up for the second time in the inning is Jason Michaels, who was one of the three walks that Saito allowed. Six, seven, and, oops, forgot to put him on. Ball four. And walking for the second time in the inning is Michaels. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. And technically, Bimel is tired. We'll let him try to get to one more batter because he's already given up three hits and or walks. So Scott Proctor is now loosening in the bullpen. And here's Gutierrez. He walked his first time up. Six, four, and no dot there. So that's a fly ball to left. And Ethier will gather it and retires the side. Stadium boos. Or stadium groans and maybe barfs. Yeah, sorry, RJL. Six runs on four hits and four walks. Wow. And Perez will be taken out because he was pinch hit for. Jensen Lewis will try to close this one out as the Indians trying to steal a victory from the jaws of defeat. But he will face the top of the order for call, Pierre and Loney. And Joe Borowski is still loosening in the bullpen just in case. And here is Raphael for call. Four, nine. Either side, that's ball four. They will hold him on. And here's Juan Pierre. One, three. Ground ball to short. They'll get the sure out at second, but for call will beat the relay throw there. So fielder's choice, but one out holding Pierre on. He will not be taking off. Here's James Loney, sack fly, double on a strikeout. Six, seven. Second base X, 14. Will that be in range? On a two fielder for Cabrera. Second base X, two and a 14. Ground ball in the hole. Cabrera gets it, throws to first. Pierre will move to second, but there are two down. For Jeff Kent. And here's the pitch to Kent. Five, seven against the righty. Struck him out, and that's your ball game. Final score from Dodger Stadium is the Indians six and the Dodgers two. And we'll be right back with the detail, the final final line score right after this. All right, final line score, six runs, 10 hits, no errors uh, for the Indians. Two runs on only three hits for the Dodgers, so good for them. Uh, winning pitcher is Rafael Perez. The losing pitcher is Takashi Saito. He also gets the blown save. And Jensen Lewis would get the hold. 
All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and if you have not already hit the subscribe button, please do. Thank you uh, for if you hit the like button, that helps uh, get the video seen more. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. And have a good night, everybody.